Hello and thank you for watching this short video which will provide a brief update for parents with children who are currently in reception and year one at Hillyfield. My name is Ellen Counter, I'm the Strategic English Lead at Hillyfield working across both sites and I'm pleased to provide you with this update today. This video lasts for approximately six minutes and will give you an update on the new phonics program the school will be using after the half term, as well as information regarding the books that your child will be reading in school and at home. So firstly, to provide you with some background information, last summer the government produced new guidance asking all primary schools in England to implement a systematic synthetic phonics program, selecting from the government's list of validated schemes. Whilst the school was already teaching high quality phonics lessons, we've spent the time since the new guidance was released researching a range of these schemes and decided that ELS, or Essential Letters and Sounds, was the perfect choice for us. It complements what we already have in place but also provides new, high quality decodable books that are totally aligned with each week's phonics teaching that is happening in the classroom. So before we go further, firstly it's important to address the question, what is phonics? As you can see here, it's a method of teaching beginners to read and pronounce words by learning to associate letters or letter groups with the sounds they represent. Now, the English language is quite complicated and although there are 26 letters within the alphabet, there are actually 44 main sounds in the English language. Each of these sounds is represented by a grapheme, which I will explain in a moment. Here is a quick overview of some key terms that your children may have already mentioned to you. They can sound confusing, but really the concept for each is quite simple. A phoneme is a single sound that can be heard within a word. So for example, within the word dog, there are three phonemes, d, o, g. A grapheme is how that sound is written down. A digraph is two letters making one sound, for example, ch in chip or R in car. A trigraph is three letters making one sound, for example, I in the word night. A split digraph is when two vowel letters are split by one or two consonants that are in between them, for example, A in the word cake or O in the word hope. It's really important when we're looking at sounds within words that we pronounce those sounds correctly. Often it's tempting to add a schwa onto the end of a sound, which can appear when we try to say some sounds and we add an uh onto the end, such as m or p. Instead, we need to use the pure sounds such as m or p, which makes it easier for children to blend the sounds together to read the words. You can look up how to pronounce the pure sounds by typing this into YouTube, as you can see here. And from the um, top video that should appear, which is the Oxford Owl one, it's a really useful one to watch. And this would take less than four minutes. Now, please don't worry if this all feels a bit much or a bit confusing, and we expect you to have questions. After the half term, we'll be in touch with dates for live parent phonics workshops, and they, they will be a great opportunity to ask questions, and we're hoping that these will be face to face. More information will be available after the half term. So now we're going to move swiftly on to the importance of reading and give you a quick update about the books that your child will be reading at home after the half term, as we have adapted this according to our new phonics program that I mentioned earlier, Essential Letters and Sounds or ELS. So all the latest research has shown that a love of reading is the single biggest indicator of future academic success. So it's totally crucial that children keep reading for pleasure within school and at home. That means choosing and selecting the books that they want to read or have an adult read to them, as well as reading the books that the child can decode or read independently. After the half term break, your child will keep having access to two different types of books. One crucial difference is that your child will be reading new decodable books. This means that it's a book that can be read independently by your child. that are brand new physical books within the classroom. They will be read several times over the course of the week at school. And on Fridays, your child's teacher will be uploading this book to your child's new Oxford OWL account to be access accessed online. Information about this will follow in just a moment. It's crucial that you keep reading this book over the weekend and until the following Friday, as this practice at home is so important. We suggest that your child reread this book at least 
three or four times if possible. Now, because at Hillyfield we believe in the utmost importance of all children having access to real texts and physical books, we're also going to be providing physical copies of these new decodable books from the summer term onwards, so that your child is not having to access these always via a screen. Your child will also be bringing home a sharing book, which is a picture book that you can read to your child. And these are perfect for bedtimes and also so important to help your child develop a love of reading. Your child will be provided with their own unique login details to access the Oxford OWL website. You'll need to sign into the website using the username and password you will be given and the school code is ALE9. Please ensure that you log in through the Oxford Alpha School section of the website. Once logged in, you'll see the book that your child's teacher has provided listed as homework. The teacher will be able to track when your child has read this book and you'll both be able to see your child's progress recorded as they work their way through the books each week. As mentioned before, repeat reading of these books is so important to building your child's confidence and to support the learning that's been taking place at school. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions at all, you can ask your child's teacher for more information after the half term. But please don't forget that there will be opportunities to find out more during parent workshops in the very near future. Thank you.